We saw white smoke coming from the engine. We checked the water filter, which was clear, then checked the pipework leading to the water filter, and that's when we found this. We replaced the impeller just to be sure, but we had leaks from the paper gasket, which we should have covered with grease, and worse leaks from the water seal. So we stripped it all down and saw that the bearing and the water seal were in a bad shape. Also the housing was worn. So, time to rebuild it. Everybody look up for the car, because I hope I have been waiting for. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is my channel. I hope you like it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and give me lots of likes. No thumbs down, only thumbs up for me. Thank you. Okay, so we've got some silicon grease, a little bit of it. And here. Wow, spot on, 2.5. Okay. So I've um, tapped this back a little bit so that it goes dead against this um, clip ring here, just under 40 really. And it was 50 when we took it off, so we've got about uh, 0 0.1 mil difference. So let's put the rest of the bits on. So I'll put a little bit of silicon grease around there. And now I'll just try and push this into place. Okay, so that lines up there with the pin at the bottom. So now I'm going to put this on. Oh, that's looking good. This is the way that it rotates. Okay, so time to put this on. Okay, so this is fitting the new impeller and pump housing onto the engine. This is Roman. Uh, hello. Right. <laughs> Who's going to be filming? So, there we go. Okay, so the first thing we've done is short circuited this because I've discovered that all of the electricity for the boat is actually going through that one socket there. So I'm hoping that if I take this off now it won't spark and stop everything from working. Oh, it's looking good so far. So I think I'm going to put a little bit of silicon grease on these. the 
Skyrim cuts. Okay, so here we are. Give it a test. Let's cut. Let see cut. Just allow some water to come in. Okay, so we're ready to go. 